Changing the lights too much, no okay. count. It's okay. disturbing. Okay. Bring them up. <coughs> Must be the only man in town who's had the soldiers with him. It's understandable. Our town is empty enough. Listen here, I'll be back in a few minutes. Where are you going? I, I have to go. I, I must see them off. still can't get used to the fact of how beautiful you are to me. Such wonderful hair. Such beautiful eyes. Tomorrow, I think you're waiting there. We'll work. We'll be rich. Our dreams will come true. We'll be happy. Just one problem. You don't love me. sleep. I've never been frightened my whole life. I've never been afraid of anything. Now I can't sleep. I'm tormented by the thought of that lost key. Say something. What shall I say? Say something to me. Explain how the stupidest little things in life can seem so important all of a sudden and for no reason. Ah, let's not talk about it. I feel happy now. It's almost as if I were seeing these trees for the first time in my life. And it's almost as if they're waiting for me to say something. Such beautiful trees they are, and how beautiful the life around them ought to be. I must go. I'll be late. I'm coming with you. Trees, trees dead. It was still moves in the wind with the others. I feel like that. If I were to die, I mean, I could still be part of life somehow. Those papers you gave me are on the desk, underneath the calendar. No, I'm coming with you. No, no. I asked you not to do anything. <coughs> Don't go do anything with the lights. What? Don't do it. I didn't have any coffee this morning. <coughs> Will you fix me some? <coughs> Terrible. 
terrible thing, my God. The whole Kirsten Street must have burned to the ground. <laughs> and the poor Christians, they got an awful scare. Your house nearly burned to the ground. Oh, we can't let them go home. They can stay with us. Oh, and poor Fedotek. Oh, his house burned to the ground. <laughs> oh, you did it. You better get therapies or never marry all this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hello, anyone down there? Uh, Farapon, Farapon, will you come up here, please? Oh. <laughs> here, take this and take this. Listen, they're all in the hallway. The colleagues and girls are in the hallway. Give it all to them. Oh, and oh, and 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 here, take this and take this too. You know, Moscow burned down two years ago. The Frenchie sure got a surprise. Oh, go on, get out, get out! <laughs> take it all, Nana, just, just take it all away. We don't need any of it. I'm so tired, I can hardly stand. You know, we, we just can't let the Rishnins go home. The girls can stay in the living room, and, and the colonel can stay with the baron, and Padota can stay with the baron, too. <sighs> and the doctor is drunk again. Wouldn't you know it? Well, we can't put him with anyone. <sighs> and and Rashid's wife, well, she can stay in, she can stay in the living room, too. I'm, I'm delicious. Don't send me away, please. <laughs> Don't talk nonsense, Nana. Nobody's going to send you away. <laughs> I do what I can. I work all the time. People always say, everybody says, send you away. But, but where am I supposed to go? I, where? I'm old. I'm old. Oh. Come on, Uncle Jim, let us. Take a rest. You poor dear, you're just so worn out. Here, you rest. We can't see the fire from here. It's quieter here. Mr. Therapont from the council is here to see you. come in. Hello, old man. What's up? Karen from the county council uh, gave you the book to go to your Thanks. That's fine. Why did you come by so late? It's already after eight. I said, you came by late. It's already after eight. Oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, I, I came by here a while ago. It was still light. They wouldn't let me in, said you was busy. That's what they said. Well, that's all right. He's busy, he's busy. I'm in no hurry. What's that? Nothing. Tomorrow's Friday. There's no meeting. But I'll go in anyway. Get something done. It's a bore around here. How funny life is. 
Today I had nothing to do. I was bored. I picked up this book, my old lecture notes from the university, and I started to laugh. My God. <laughs> I'm the secretary of the county council, <laughs> the same council that Protopopoff is chairman of. I'm the secretary, and the highest honor I can hope for is to become a full member. Me, a member of the local county council. And every night, I dream I'm a professor at the University of Moscow famous scientist, the pride of Russia. I, I don't know, I can't get through well. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be telling you all that. I have to talk to someone. My wife doesn't understand me. I'm afraid of my sisters. I don't know why. I'm always afraid that they'll laugh at me. Make me feel ashamed. I don't drink. I don't like bars. But I'd love to be in Moscow right now, sitting at a table at Testoffs or at the Grand Moscow. Oh, Moscow! You know, there was this fella at the office the other day. He said, there was these men in Moscow, <laughs> businessmen, he said, and they were eating pancakes. restaurant full of people and nobody knows you and you don't know anybody but you don't feel like a stranger in this town you know everybody and everybody knows you but you always feel like a stranger <laughs> a stranger and alone What's that? <laughs> you know, the same fellow he was telling us, could have been lying, I don't know. He was saying they got a rope in Moscow. It stretches all across town, one side to the other. What's it for? I don't know. He was just telling us. He made it up. Were you ever in Moscow? Nope, nope. Uh, things just never worked out that way. Huh. Mind if I go now? Sure. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Come over tomorrow, will you? And pick up these papers. Wait a minute. He's gone. That's it. Work tomorrow. Great moisture. Wow.